One of the most important things is that the actor works from a healthy place. Artistic healthy place, there's, there's no abuse in this technique at all. Hoje gente, é com muito prazer que hoje eu recebo aqui a Mariorita Maquela, ela que é diretora do Chekhov Studio em Los Angeles. Well, first of all, thank you so much for giving me this interview. Can you tell us about uh, a little bit about your background uh, as an actress, as a director? Um, I was a professional actress in Finland first, and then I wanted to educate myself further, so I studied both in Russia and in Denmark, and then I did my MFA in USA as well. So I went to school a lot. When was your first contact yeah. with uh, the Michael Chekhov technique? It's funny, my very first director, uh, when I was in my early 20s, yes, early 20s, he used some exercises that are Michael Chekhov, I know now, but back then he didn't tell me that. We just did all these exercises with energy and everything. And um, it took me, I think, six years uh, to study in the Russian Academy to realize that I had done Michael Chekhov all this time. Yes. And uh, in your opinion, which, which are the strongest points in the uh, Chekhov technique? There are no weak points, <laughs> but um, probably... For, 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 a, for a person who doesn't know who he is or uh, what okay. his technique is about, what would you say to them? <clears throat> One of the most important things is that the actor works from a healthy place. Artistic healthy place, there's, there's no abuse in this technique at all. There's um, no slapping actors. <laughs> it's all based on... Um, um, enormous amount of love and appreciation for this art of acting and directing and it's very transformative so very quickly even in the first class you see the effects on actors where um, they grow in size and they grow in um, and they're having fun while they're doing it even if the character is crying the actor is having fun in a way I don't know if that makes sense but um, it helps the actors to transform the character it gives them self-confidence in their lives. Um, it, it does. It, it really does. does yeah. yeah. So maybe you, yeah, you should talk about this. <laughs> but um, yeah, it really affects um, if you want to be a really good actor. I think it's a lifestyle um, of embracing certain things in your life. So the technique is very holistic. And tell us about uh, the Chekhov Studio. Chekhov Studio is uh, my baby. I started Checo Studio about three years ago because I couldn't find the type of training in Los Angeles that I wanted to provide. I, was, I still do work with a couple of universities and they're wonderful, but I wanted to be able to just take a small group of actors and really truly embrace them, uh, especially in Los Angeles or any larger city with a lot of competition. It's very important that actors can have a home. So um, Checo Studio is a place where and mostly we have professional actors, but also a beginner can come and we'll work with them. It's your first try time here in Brazil, isn't it? Yes. How about it? I'm absolutely and completely in love with Brazil. I really? don't want to go home. <laughs> I mean, I do, but it's lovely. I um, especially, of course, uh, the Stanislavski Institute has been taking such a wonderful care of me. This experience has been probably one of the best in my whole life, artistically. Um, I am not sure if, if Brazil quite realizes yet uh, what they're doing here, what you are doing here. Yeah. But I would say that what Konstantin Stanislavski and his team was doing in Russia, uh, Zara is doing here. Right now, he's really changing the whole landscape of, of acting in this country, I think. People are very, very lucky that, that he uh, decided to come back here. And of course, at the same time, this um, wonderful cul culture that I'm learning to know a little bit. Uh, I've been taken to samba dancing and everything and I, I can see how passionate and um, honest nation this is in many ways. Like you actors don't have the social mask the same way that American actors are. Sorry America. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh it's been fantastic. Um, I'm completely exhausted about all the wonderful things that I've been inhaling. It's been really lovely. I, I look forward to coming back. I feel like I get to witness something that people will later read about. 
Did you know anything about Brazilian acting or actors or directors before coming here? Uh, very little. I've seen a couple of very good films uh, and I've been impressed about the cinema photography and just the stories, very good storytelling. Um, I have now learned that there's a, a little bit different types of techniques going on in this country and not necessarily a very long tradition in the technique part of acting, which is why it's very, in my opinion, very important that what, what Stanislavski Institute is doing here. I don't have any first-hand experience on being on set because I coach a lot of actors uh, in America and in Europe. Um, but I really think that um, it's important to know that um, there's a technique to acting. The actor doesn't have to suffer and the acting will be still truthful and powerful. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to, to end this interview, yes. this amazing interview, uh, I would like to, uh, you to say something to young actors, who, people who are just beginning in their careers, who are just fulfilled of dreams and uh, hopes. What would you say to them? Uh, I say, um, surround yourself with people who believe you, in you. Surround yourself with people who make you feel safe. Um, embrace all experiences life, but sleep enough, <laughs> take your vitamins, drink your water, don't do drugs. Um, I see this too much in Hollywood. Um, and um, work with directors um, who embrace you. And there's so much talent in this country. I'd say, uh, oh, educate yourself. Uh, make sure you have a technique. Actor needs to be able to do the work without the director, without the acting coach. And director should also, of course, be able to work with the actor. But uh, it's important to have a technique so that um, in any situation, you can step into the character and live through that character and still be safe as an actor. What word you learned in Portuguese? Oh my god. Um, muito bom. <laughs> Is that good? And uh, obrigada. That's a point. <laughs> <laughs> what else did I? Oh, the drink. What is the drink? Caipirinha. Caipirinha. And Caipirinha. then the other one, the really strong one. Cachaça. 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 Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my. <laughs> I hope you got what you needed, yeah? Okay, good. This one. Okay, good. Oh, great. Oh, great. Okay.